We're asked which of the following sequence of steps, when completed, will solve the equation 2x minus 7 is equal to 1 for x. So pause this video and see if you can figure it out on your own before we do it together. Okay, so there's two ways that we can approach it. One way, we could look at each of these choices and try to follow their directions and see if it gets us solving for x here. Another way to approach it, which is the way I will approach it to begin with, is to just start with the equation 2x minus 7 equals 1 and then solve for x or try to do it in the most efficient way that I can. And this is one of the choices, this is one of the questions where they only want us to pick one choice. So once we pick one choice, we know that the other ones will not be the correct choice. So if I'm trying to solve an algebraic equation like this, the first thing I try to do is isolate the terms that deal with an x on one side. So to do that, I'd want to get rid of this negative 7. So the best way I can think of doing that is to add 7 to both sides. So I'm going to add 7 to the left and add 7 to the right hand side of the equation. Remember, when we're dealing with an equation, if we want the equation to hold true that the left side is equal to the right side, whatever we do to the left side, we have to do to the right side as well. So if we add 7 on the left, we have to add 7 on the right. Well, when we do that, our left side is left with just the 2x, because you have negative 7 plus 7, is equal to the right side is 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. Now how do we solve for x here? Well, we can divide both sides by 2. And that will just leave an x on the left hand side. So when we divide both sides by 2, we are left with x is equal to 8 divided by 2 is 4. So what are the steps? First, we added 7 to both sides. So let me write this down. So first, we added 7 to both sides, both sides. And then the second step is we divided both sides by 2. Divided both sides by 2. Now which of these choices match up to that? So here it says divide both sides of the equation by 2, then subtract 7 from both sides. So this is close, but they're dividing by 2 first, and then instead of adding 7, they're, they're subtracting. And if you divide by 2 first, it's not clear that adding or subtracting 7 is the right thing to do. We could even try it out with that. If you divided both sides by 2 first, if you divide the left hand side by 2, you would get 2x divided by 2 is x minus 7 over 2 is equal to 1 half when you divide the right side by 2. And then you subtract 7 from both sides. That's definitely not going to solve it for x. I'll rule that out. Divide both sides of the equation by 2, then add 7 to both sides. So those are the two steps that we just did, but they're in reverse order. So we can rule that one out as well. Subtract 7 from both sides of the equation, then multiply both sides by 2. No, we added 7 from both, to both sides of the equation, and then we divided both sides by 2. Add 7 to both sides of the equation. Yep, that's what we did first. Then multiply both sides by 2. No, it's going to be then divide both sides by 2. Add 7 to both sides of the equation. Yep, that's what we did first. Then divide both sides by 2. That's exactly what we did, and that will get you solving for x. And they were a little bit tricky here because they put the last choice here, so we had to work through all of them to find the one that actually worked. 